Welcome back my YouTube family. So today we're gonna finish this one. When I did originally, I never thought about adding any color. But now looking at it, I can see this one being in red and these being more in like bluish. Some red leaves, brown branches, probably gonna be loads of black, high contrast. And they're gonna make this really, really vibrant. So if you're first time watching this channel, I like to do near traditional design. And I'm trying to give all my tips and tricks to you guys. I got loads of designs doing digital on my iPad, I got coloring ones, I've got the ones I only do line work. I don't try to stick to one area, I try to cover loads of bits so if you want to see more videos in the future about you know, traditional, about coloring, about digital art, about iPad, Procreate, designing, then all you gotta do is just smash that like button and press subscribe. I've been doing art for like 20 years now, so I'm trying to give it to you guys now, all my tips and tricks, all I know. Because back in the days I, when I wanted to learn all this, I was watching videos, I was searching, I couldn't find anything what tells me really what to do and what you shouldn't do and why you should do that instead of that. So that's exactly what I'm trying to give you guys. And saying that, that's why we're gonna make this red color. Red, orange and probably yellow as well. So it's the warmest part, it's the centric, the middle, the focus. These gonna be both probably in blue, dark tones, so they contrast to the warm as a cold. Then branches will be blue, the blue, yeah, brown. Just because it's so busy, it's gonna be your, uh, a lot easier for your eyes to pick it. If it's brown, straight, that's tree, that's no second guessing. And probably the leaves are gonna do green and probably some touch of red maybe brown who knows so then it's all really clean readable contrast and even if it's really busy as it's now you're gonna be able to read from miles away what that is what is supposed to be what goes what so as always i'm gonna start probably right in the middle because that's the easiest part and then i go into more complicated ones as i'm more in into the design and I'm gonna explain little more steps as, as the video goes. So what I like to do is add one solid color from wall to wall and then add shade using pencils or anything else where I can shade smoothly so it becomes like it's been done on laptop instead of doing by hand. So let's jump on the flower first. So just before we start, what I was gonna say is I'm gonna do the inside the flower lighter than the outside so even if it's a flower, it will be a lot easier for your eyes to pick what's inside and what's the outside of the petal. And always, before you go with the color, start with the light tones because you can always go darker. But if you do dark, you can't go lighter, if that makes sense. Yeah, so always start with the really nice warm tones and then you'll shade darker as you go. But don't go with really, really dark in first place. Otherwise, there's nothing else you could do. say these tones look too similar to each other so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this outside dark one more red and uh, perhaps add some yellow middles in here and now uh, what we're gonna do now is jump on a tree let's get that brown in there as well and remember yeah light brown so you can shade in darker brown afterwards but go with the light ones first and on this section you can see all I use so if you need to pause or have a look 
in the end of the video what tones I used and where I used you can see right here so you don't need to guess it what I'm going to be using I'm probably going to fill all that area today so let's carry on <laughs> done now I hope I didn't forget I did have forgot that little millimeter I'm gonna do that quickly but next one we're gonna jump on the leaves so I'm gonna get them all green and then seeing how green that is I'll decide how blue how dark the birds needs to be compared to the uh, leaves so they don't blend together so they 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 they, they stand out from each other so what I like to do is I add let's say this one yeah I do all them in the green then I'm gonna take some blue dark blue and I'm gonna shade the uh, insides down here so it, sh like it shows from really icy blue green like basically dark dark green and it goes into lighter green and maybe gonna end like something I don't know red maybe or yellow or purple or whatever so it goes from dark green bluish green into like proper green and then goes into lighter so that gives that dimension that it bends it folds yeah that's what I like and again we're gonna start with light green I'm gonna go darker and darker and darker and darker <laughs> So the green is done and what else did I did ropes in the red I don't know I just saw them in red so I did them in the red and uh, I did these in really really light pink so the only purpose the leaves are there these are like cherry blossom petals so the only reason they are there they just fill the space and make like a background so there's add like a little more detail than just being plain white so again these are the colors I used and what I do is I keep the markers I've used literally next to me just in case if I got anything down here I literally have it here I don't need to dig through my bags to find the one I used so it's just a lot easier when it's literally right there and you pick it and you adjust it a little bit if you see like that millimeter there so I'll need just grab it, use it, job done makes life easier so now I'm gonna do the birds what I'm gonna do is really really light blue the whole body and then I'm probably gonna do really dark blue ends so it's like from dark to light from dark to light from here and the same as here dark dark uh, dark blue ends and then go back into white some dark face features and the same goes for this bird so for me doing these videos giving you all your tips I wish you could give me some YouTube money what is YouTube money I like yeah that helps me to expand a bit more and I can reach new people giving new tips to new people so everybody gets to know this so yeah like is a YouTube money that's how it works it spreads makes the algorithm uh, work better and let's jump on the birds <laughs>
So because these tones look really similar to each other, I added more red to the outside and more yellow to the inside and even then I separate them, I made the ends darker than the inside so again you can see them twist and uh, one thing I can tell you is never ever let it get two tones same color being next to each other see where the brown and brown are gonna shade so two tones the same color are never next to each other yeah that's orange that's light that's dark that's light in the same in here and whatever that was one of the main reasons why I made the ends darker than the inside so it separates down here and down there and so two tones never ever be next to each other same in that there but it's all green I had to shade in there to separate them so next one is branches let's go on trees <laughs> So